think my tolerance for these things isn't very good anyway. I'm quite a grumpy uh, woman, really. I'm quite tired, that's the problem. I'm sleep deprived. I don't get enough uh, kip. I, uh, it's because I've got very young children. I've got a baby and then I've got a slightly older one, a um, bigger one in the car. And, uh, <laughs> It is weird. It is weird being this tired. Like, I mean, I'm proper, you know, knackered. I've got a lot of makeup on my face, to be honest. It's like a burqa of foundation <laughs> on my face. Some days I wear a burqa, I think, sod it, I can't work with this. <laughs> There's loads of women around my way that wear burqa, and they're not all Muslim women, I'm telling you now. <laughs> Some of the women have had a bad air day that are like, right, burqa day, I'm doing the school run. Get in the car. <laughs> So thank God for makeup, honestly, I'll properly cake it on, you know. I'm not as close to you as you think I am, that's how much makeup. <laughs> no, I am tired, and I should have known I would be tired, because I had mates that had kids before me, and they said, you will be tired. Because it's a real war story, isn't it, with new parents? They do go on about it, they're always banging on about it. Like, when you have a kid, right? When you have a kid, right? You bleed from your eyes. <laughs> And before I had children, I didn't, I couldn't have given less of a toss, really. I remember thinking, all right, you haven't got a monopoly on tiredness, have you, you breeders? <laughs> I used to think to myself, I know what tired is, actually. Tired's when you work all day, and then you go to the pub after work, <laughs> and you stay until closing. And then maybe you go to a club and take Class A drugs and sleep with a stranger and then get a minicab home. <laughs> You do all that and breastfeed, because I'm not being funny. It does ratchet it up, it does. Proper knackered now. It is very interesting, because I, I find that it's very difficult communicating with very young children. That's the thing that I have found particularly to be a challenge, because, you know, like my daughter's at an age now where she's asking very big questions, big stuff, heavy things, you know, like death, and where do we go when we die, and what, how, how will I die, and what happens after we die, and where do babies come from, where do I come from? It's like, oh, Google it. And I, I suppose I, I, know, I aspire to have answers for all her questions, you know, everything. Like, mummy, mummy, what's dogging? <laughs> right, okay, darling, well, dogging is when three or four people that love each other go to a car park your dad <laughs> because it's hard it's very hard communicating with emotionally underdeveloped people i'll give you an example last christmas we were doing the advent calendar right and she was three at the time and she insisted she insisted that the number eight came sequentially after the number five now you're thinking does it matter kerry she's only three but when you haven't had any sod in sleep you get into these debates with these people <laughs> and she didn't put it in a cute way she put it like gordon ramsay running a greg's and I, I, I know that I'm supposed to be this sort of sanguine vision of motherhood, but I'm not naturally adept at it. I take her to toddler group and I'm like, right, you can't punch Milo in the face. And she goes, why not? Which is a good question, because Milo's a bit of a dick. <laughs> like, you can't, babe, you can't, because it makes me look bad. <laughs> she doesn't care, really. And it's hard. I mean, I thought I was tired when I had one kid, but now I look back on that, that was just like having an accessory, really. Now, <laughs> now that I've got two, I'm, I'm properly broken. I, I think they're trying to kill me. <laughs> I do. I hear them talking about it on the landing. <laughs> they have little conferences. One's like, right, I'll, I'll get up at five, right? <laughs> and I'll be inexplicably perky. <laughs> And then just as I'm winding down for my nap, you crank up. <laughs> Start going mental for Cocoa Pops. She ain't been shopping. <laughs> I think we can kill her. High five. My judgment isn't reliable. I'm too tired to be sure. But uh, 